And we're continuing our special series looking at breast cancer today. And here's the scenario. You've just been diagnosed with breast cancer. After you take a very deep breath, what do you ask your doctor? Dr. Christy Funk, a surgical breast specialist and founder of Pink Lotus Breast Center in Beverly Hills, has the four questions you need to know the answers to. And good morning to you, Dr. Good, good morning. morning to you both. I, I feel like in the very beginning, I think some of us sort of sprint through uh, trying to get a doctor fast because you feel like you have to get the surgery the next day. Right. The take a breath thing is important. Like, it's not growing in a week or two weeks. You can take a Absolutely. breath. Absolutely. In fact, the truth is that first cancer cell probably mutated five to eight years before. But now that you know it's there, there is that feeling of urgency. But you're right. It's not urgent. Take your time. Find the right team. Be secure in your plan. Why wouldn't it have been found? If it's if it's been mutating that long and you've been getting mammograms every year, why wouldn't it have been found? Great mm -hmm. question. A one centimeter cube of cancer has one billion cancer cells. So mm -hmm. the first cell that went awry multiple years ago could never be detected mm -hmm. by any scan or finger. The, oh, wow. the questions are first, and it sounds very basic, but ask what stage am I? Right. So there are four, five stages of breast cancer, zero through four. The first is what we call carcinoma in situ. Mm -hmm. The cancer cells are stuck inside that breast duct, and they mm -hmm. can't get out. Stage one, those cancer cells have burst through the duct wall, and they're invading the breast itself, but the size is under two centimeters. Stages two and three are, they have subdivisions, and they, it depends on how big the tumor is within the breast and whether or not it went to lymph nodes and how many. So there's different stages of two and three, depending on the size and the nodes. And then stage four is what we call metastatic. Those cancer cells that invaded have now gone into blood or lymphatics and left the nodes and are out in the body. Liver, mm -hmm. lung, brain, and bone are the are most the common. Most common. Okay. Yeah. And the, you should ask your doctor, secondly, I guess, what are your treatment options? Basic yes. question. So there are three main treatments for breast cancer surgery radiation and medications like yeah. chemotherapy or anti-hormonal therapy and within each of those categories women have choices and mm -hmm. this is critical to me because frequently they're not given a choice they're just told this is what you need mm -hmm. so research has shown us that within each category the choices that you make have the same cure rate mm -hmm. so it's because of this research and we always are needing funds that's why you've got your super cute forward mm -hmm. Komen ring yeah, and yeah. I'm partnering with the Oplay and their Save Lids to Save Lives because we need money for research Mm -hmm. So what question, really quickly, in each category should you ask your doctor? For surgery, do I need a lumpectomy or mastectomy, right. and why? Right. Understand why. why? Right. Under radiation, can I have the new five-day treatment of radiation? This is proven to be the same as the whole breast radiation, which is six and a half weeks, Monday through Friday, every day, 33 oh treatments. Lord, what a great, a great five breakthrough. Days, just, you're done. M start Monday, done on Friday. Why Same wouldn't somebody say, yes, you can have it? Is this insurance or something like that? No, insurance pays equally for both, so that's not the but issue. But it's intensive, I guess, right? It's more intensive, but really the reason is you have to be over 45 years mm -hmm. old and your tumor has to fit certain criteria. Okay. And can you change your treatment in the middle? Like, can no. you switch it up? No. Okay. Last question, what's next? What's next? That's what you should ask. Which, what's yeah. next in yeah. your yeah. treatment? Your treatment. Yes, what should you expect? And what I tell women is expect to live. Mm -hmm. This is curable. Stage zero and one it has a 98% mm -hmm. five-year survival rate. So anyone who is diagnosed with cancer and is alive is a survivor. So mm -hmm. I always instill hope. That's right. more and more women, though, all the time. Yeah. 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 Dr. Christy Fung, thank you thank so you. much. Thank very, you very great much. advice. Really we appreciate great. it. All right, when we come back, it is definitely meatball madness. Jada is going to be cooking for us. But first, this is today on NBC. Okay.